making first impressions? So I know about making first impressions that a lot of people think when they meet somebody for the first time, be it for business or being in dating and stuff, that what they say is actually important. But research says that it's your facial features. So when we have a first impression, we meet somebody for the first time, we look into the right eye first and check out how truthful is this person? Person, how worthy are they? Can I can I trust this person? We look into the left eye second, and the last thing is then the third thing is the mouth. So it's not so much about your words because eighty percent in a communication are always non-verbal communication. So when you know how to watch an eye, you know how to observe what they really think might be not what they say, how different they are in their character. So you can communicate in a way that tailors your communication way more to what the person shows you about them non-verbally than just talking, talking, talking. Increases the success in business a lot and it increases the success in relationships. Because I give you an example. We have three areas, three levels in our in our face. This one is the physical, this one is the soul, and this one is the mind. So when you are talking and you want to make business with a very physical person, they very often have a very, you know, a very good impressive chin and although that area is very well developed, you might not be too airy fairy in the mind with them. You you use subjects and how you talk to them and interact with them that are more down to earth, you know, and that are more graspable and physical and maybe practical. And when you are talking to like an actor or an actress, they have a very well developed soul area. You might develop more, you know, sp spirit, more ideas, more those kind of things of creativity. Then with a more mindful or mental person, you talk more you know, facts and all those kind of things you can use for better success. What do you think, Annie? Well, I think that there are also some physical things that people can do to create a more harmonious, trustworthy appearance. For example, one thing that I don't think many people know is how to properly maintain eyebrows. Men and women both can do this. Um, you can tell by measuring from the edge of the nose right up to the top right here. That's where the eyebrow should start. You could remove anything in between. The second part is the end of the eyebrow. You can use the same point of the nose, point all the way back. That's where the eyebrow should stop. So on a female, you could add a little bit or sometimes on males, you can remove any excess from that point. Also, if you do have an arch in the eyebrow, it goes from the middle of the eye up. So if you don't have one and you want to create it, that's exactly where it would go. That's very helpful because we really check out our eyes a lot. Thank you so much for sharing this, Annie. And if you want to know way more, there is more because we have a seminar soon about the features and how you can read the eyes, how you can access a better focus and release blockages through the eyes, also how healthy you are, you can see that in the eyes, all those kind of things. What do you want to offer in the workshop? I want to offer um, a way to accentuate some of your other features to create a healthy glow. That sounds like a plan. So we hope to see you there. Thank you. Thank you.